What is up YouTube? Welcome back guys. We are back in the grow, kicking off a new grow journal. Grow journal number four to be exact. Uh, same with this one as we did with all the previous ones. We're gonna not only just follow along with you know the progress of the plant, because who doesn't like watching you know the flowers grow obviously, but we're gonna be testing some different things this time. So in the past, we've tested the Athena blended line. We did the blended line versus mills. In that same study, we did flushing versus non-flushing on both of them because we wanted to test not only do nutrients make a difference, does flushing make a difference, and we did the flush and non-flush on both as well. We did our lab testings, we got our terpenes, our heavy metals, our cannabinoids, the THC, the weights, all that good stuff, right? In this most recent one, which you guys have probably already seen the video on, we tested Athena's ProLine, and we did there, you know, because we wanted to compare that against the blended line we did previously. And then we also did that with and without their new R&D project, which is now coined Fade. I think it is available in stores. I did enjoy it. If you guys liked that video or if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. It goes over the, the weights, the labs, all that stuff, because that's how we do. So, speeding up to today. Man, it is so getting foggy on these glasses in here. It's too bright. Uh. Speeding up to today, once I get my life together here. We're, uh, this one right here, we're going to be doing the Athena Pro line again because I did like the results. I did like how clean it was. I got nothing bad to say about it. Blended line's good. Pro line I like better. I have enough to run the fade. We're going to be running the fade again. So those things are going to be the same. What I want to do this time primarily is test uh, lighting differences. Um, so I went over a few different companies. I finally settled on going with Mars Hydro simply because it was the most cost effective light. So my goal here is kind of multifaceted. So what I wanted to do is see, does lighting companies in general, does it make a difference? Because every lighting company has a slightly different version of their spectrum, right? A little bit more blues, a little bit more red, some got more far red diodes, some got this, some got that, right? Some have Samsung diodes, some don't have Samsung diodes. All these little nuances, right, that kind of make the difference in the price of the light and what, what they say is touted as the best light, right? So I figured let's get a different company. Let's go with Mars Hydro, it's a very popular company. It's also one of the most affordable lights I can find out there. So we'll test, does the little tiny tweaks in the spectrum really make that big of a difference? We're gonna do the same type of testing. We're gonna do just general weight. So we'll do gram per watt. I think that'll be the easiest way to see how they do against each other uh, since they're gonna be different wattages. And we're also gonna test out, uh, once again, the potency uh, so THC, the total cannabinoid content, terpene profiles, just to see if there's any differences, right? And then since this light was the most affordable one that I could find, I thought it would be also a good way of discovering not only does a brand, does it make a difference, but do you really need to pay more to get more? Because if you can get a light, I think it's a 300 watt light that I ordered, which should be here today or tomorrow, uh, and it's, two. I think it was $200 with a little discount code that I have. That's shipping and everything. I think it was like $200 and like 70 cents. I'll have to find it and see if I can throw up the little invoice for you guys. It was cheap. So compared to my Mammoth 800 Watts Bright AF is uh, I think with shipping and tax was like 1100 and change. I can't remember, but a lot more expensive. So do you need to spend double or close to in order to get that? You know, Can you save half the cost and get something much cheaper and still get the same bang for your buck. Like what, you know, why, what is the difference? Not that I have anything against Mammoth. I love them, I tout them all the time, but let's find out. What am I, and I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna show you right now. Oh, and let me, let me, let me flip this around. I've been avoiding showing the plants because YouTube's really been hitting me. They've been like demonetizing, age restricting, gave me a couple warnings. I don't know why they're picking on me or if anyone else having this problem, but so I'm trying to avoid it, you know, showing at least a little bit here. So I'm gonna show you the spot. So here we are, we got new, we got some updates in here as well, which I'll also go over. As you can tell, we got the rolling bench. Yeah, buddy. So I, I used to have them on two fast fit trays. This is a three by three tray. I used to have two three by threes in the, in the four by four tray, uh, I'm sorry, three by three table. And the tray sat on top and kind of went over the edges and it actually sat like literally on the surface, not inside like how this one is which I don't know if I like this because here's a three by three Botanicare tray. Look how much, look how much room there is. Like, I don't, I don't like that. What am, what am I gonna do? Cut this, join it back together. I don't have, I don't have any welding equipment here. But anyhow, loving the rolling tray, very convenient. It sits so much lower, so I don't have to worry about growing out my space again. But this is the goal. So this is, these have been in here for a couple days. These are underneath the net. I did extend the net. We're gonna branch them out. We're only doing 
So there's another test going on. That's why I have four. So I'm gonna get to that in a second. So this is gonna be our tester section. There's no light here yet, but it's on its way. I'm gonna hang it, put it there. And we're only doing one, which is the one you see, you know, all laced up. These two are extras. I'm gonna get rid of them. Uh, at least I think I am. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do one here, 300 watt light, spread it out, see what we can get gram per watt on that, test the, do the testing. And then we're gonna test it against this one right here. So it's this tray is all gelato kush cookies against this tray, which I think I'm gonna do just gelato kush cookies. And the reason why I'm doing these trays out here is because this tray, whether for good or for worse, it's gonna have some crossover, right? So I figured if I do this here with the 300, there's gonna be little bits of crossover and that's why they're both getting crossover from the same style of light. Cause if I did, you know, these two here, then only this one's getting crossover, you know, from this one and it's getting, di I just felt like it was fair. This is getting partial from a mammoth. This is getting partial from a mammoth. So I feel like that's the best way to really go about it. I know it's not gonna be a lot crossed over, but it's gonna be some. And if I put a divide here to really separate it, then it's gonna mess with my airflow in the whole space. And then like, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to feasibly put divides in here without ruining my airflow in this room. So that, that's the test, that's test one, right? Lighting test, does price matter? Test two that I'm doing, is you guys know, normally I do six plants in this space. So I'm dropping down to four plants. My goal here is twofold. One is a lot of us have state limitations. We have to stay within a certain plant count. My plant count is 12, I always stay within 12. So if, I, you know, so if, if we can test out running four plants instead of six plants, you know, cause some people will be doing nine in the same space, but if I can do that, and with the same amount of time, so same amount of veg time that I normally have in here, so once I move my ugly clones in, as you can tell, ugly clones that I'm bringing back, cause I'm really good at ruining clones, but I'm good at growing so they pop back pretty quickly. I usually have anywhere from the lowest I've done is two weeks to the highest I've done is four weeks of in it, veg time within this room, right? And what I mean by veg time, that means underneath big boy lights, full strength newts in their final resting homes. So I actually moved these down to uh, five gallon pots instead of seven, so that way I can do the drip system better. As you can tell, we've updated the drip system as well as something a little bit different. So a lot of new things here to kind of fix some of the stuff issues we had last time. But if with these four plants, I can get the same amount of growth and you know get the same yield and everything, then that's a win for doing less plants is more, which also because I spend so much time pruning, defoliating, and really coming in here and cleaning out that I feel like it's just overgrowing. So that way with less plants, I won't be having to tear down so much and really go in there and just strip leaves as aggressively because it will already be more opened up. So I think it's gonna work out. We'll find out though, it's a nice little test. So we're gonna be testing, once again, different lighting companies. Do you need to pay more to get more? Does it really make a difference with their spectrum as far as like what grows, uh, you know, cannabinoid terpenes and all that wise? And you know, can you grow just as much weight with you know a more cost effective light? So that's one thing and can you get the same yield within the same amount of time with less plants. So those are the things we're gonna be testing out. So what I wanted to get into for this uh, grow journal number four, well, you know, four in this new space. I got a lot of other videos doing this for years, but you know, staying relevant with this new grow space here. So that's what we're gonna be testing. I'm pretty excited about it. I think what I'm gonna do is for future runs, this might be my go-to like tester location. I'll try to set up another uh, irrigation system so I can run two nutrients on drippers. So that way I can test things like Jack one, two, three, you guys mentioned quite often. So uh, I'll have to eventually run that on a side by side. I do like the nutrient one, so I do want to do that in the future, but we're going to do this lighting one first, see how that goes. I'll do an update video once I get the light, either today or tomorrow, get in here with my, got my ladder and everything, sitting here ready so I can drill some holes up in the wall and get this thing hung. But before I go on too long, I'm going to end it here. Actually, before I end it here, if you guys watched the last video, uh, Watch till the end, There's, I'm at the end of the week. You'll see, you see, anyone that watches the end, you'll see. But I'm gonna end it here, starting to ramble, so peace out YouTube, and as always guys, have a good